Hi, it's Kim, and welcome to the video today. Thanks for coming. Today, what I'm going to do is root some houseplant cuttings to take outside for the summer period. I am so in love with this flowering maple that I want to have lots more for outdoors this year. What I've done is brought it downstairs so that I can root it just in some water. I'm going to take cuttings. I meant to get to this sooner, but of course it's ahead of me. It's already starting on a new bloom cycle. So we've got a lot of blooms, but we'll just be discarding those. Since I don't want it to waste time on its blooms, I want it to build some new roots and everything. But here we go, and let me get to work on that. Okay, now as you can see, I've got some tall branches in here. Now you can see where I took cuttings previously. I think right down here you can see a branch where I took a cutting and it grew these two side branches. So what I want to do is go in there and cut off some of these taller ones and force the plant to make some more. So unfortunately that means really doing a cut down. So here we go. I'm going to cut right here. And then I'll just do another one. Hopefully just enough so it can rest on this little uh, tomato stand that I put in there. I want to have several of these out on my deck in the summertime. So I'm going to root all these. And you can see how pretty those buds are. And this thing just blooms and stop cycles. It just about stays blooming all the season long. Get this one. And I think this one looks tall. So I'll get him too. Now, oops, now that leaves all these cuttings, but we have a very much reduced size of this mother plant. Now you can see deep into the plant, and now it kind of exposes that framework that I've put it under. I still have a bud there, but I will allow it to go ahead to continue its bloom cycle on these remainders. I think I might pull off this little high spot right here. Okay, so here we go again. I'm taking a lot more than I would probably need, but I just want to be sure that if any of these should rot or die, I'll still have a lot left over. So now, let me see if there's anything I need to clean off. I think that looks pretty good. So you can see how much of a plant I have left over. It hardly needs its stand anymore. But just in case there's a lot of growth between now and then, I'm going to leave it. Okay, now I have two bottles here so far. And I'm just going to root them in the water. Now, of course, we don't want these leaves below the surface of the water. So I'm going to tear those off and leave some nice long stalks. How about that? Get another long one. This one 
one isn't quite so long. Let me get this long one. Just strip off the leaves. Okay. It's gonna make a nice little pot for a table. these reach all the way down into the water should be okay let me see if I can get one more in there do I have an extra long one this one's extra long I'll pull that off and I really want to see how these do in the sunlight this year out on the deck I can experiment with some in the bright Sun some in a little bit of shade, but we'll see how they do. Now, I think that looks good. Set that to the side. And then let me see if I can get the rest in here. And I am planning to get all these free plants from my existing plants. I'm gonna do Swedish Ivy. I'm gonna get a shorter one for that. I'm gonna do my Swedish Ivy. And I'm also going to do some Pothos. I had Swedish Ivy outside with elephant ear last year and the Swedish Ivy just went gangbusters. And that is a pretty, pretty plant. Okay, these are all the excess leaves. Let me see, here's a couple. I think I'm gonna put these two little ones in a short, short vase here. I'll have to get some more water. But that'll make one that is already set up to branch. Right there. And which one was it? This one has a teeny tiny bud. Since it's tried so hard, I'll let him go in there. Okay. I think that looks like all that I can get for now. Wait a minute, I want more in that pot to help balance him. We'll do this. Any more? That looks like a good one. Okay, I have to go get the water for that. But that will be a lot of rooting going on. And then I'm gonna do the same with several other pots. But you can see I've got that well under the water so that each of those tips, it shouldn't be but a few days before those roots, those uh, roots start growing out of there. Previously, I rooted these in water and in soil. But they did real well in either. Both of those starts are blooming as I've shown you in another video. I'll note that video here up in the corner if you wanna check on that. But I am planning to do um, some Swedish Ivy Okay, I do plan on doing some Swedish Ivy because that did so well. And then I'm going to plan to do the Creeping Fig. That's doing real nicely in a hanging pot here. So I want to add to that collection also. And then some, this is Pilea Glauca. I'm going to put it in Hypertufa. It's really not got enough room to grow in that small plant that I did last year. If you remember that from a previous video, there's just not room enough for it to spread. So I think he's going to go into a large hypertufa pot. And let me see what else. I'm liking the ivy that's grown. 
I have an ivy in the corner. You can see that's going pretty well. It's taken off just in the last several weeks, looking real good. So I'm real excited about that one. Oh, we'll have to do an update on the um, bulbs as they get larger and larger, but they're doing real well. Okay, so that's it for today. I will have these rooted and update you on any more that I decide to do later on. I think we might need to talk about keeping my um, amaryllis because I do plan to keep that amaryllis this next year. But see you on the next video. Bye-bye.